Hi everyone. So today we are going to we are we are going to discuss about electric field. So as you all know, like in the last videos we we have discussed about or we had a discussion on Coulomb's law and basics of electrostatics etc. Right? Charge and law. So now we are going to move on to the next very important topics in this particular chapter that is electric field. We have to discuss. many things about electric field and uh, first of all the what is the basics of electric field and what what are the basic things in electric field and the direction of electric field etc etc that we will discuss and eventually we will move on to the higher higher concepts okay so first electric field what is electric field electric field is nothing but it is a region around a charged charged particle or a charged body where other charge can feel a force or that same charge can exert a force on other charges i think you all have got it some some way i i will explain that suppose there is a charge q there is a charge q and there is a, there is an electric field around it a 360 degree electric field is around it so let's say the electric field is around it where other like suppose there is another charge which is here it's a small q small q so this small q charge can like feel a force due to this capital q charge why because this charge is On the electric field of this one. Okay, this is what is electric field. It's a region around any charged particle or a charged body where other bodies or other charged bodies can feel a force, or this this charge can exert a force on other charges. And vice versa, this will have an electric field of this also. So. There is one more thing I would like to tell you. All of you listen. In the last class, we have in the last videos we have discussed that is Coulomb force is nothing but it is a force between two charged bodies, two charged charged particles or two charges. But it is not exactly like that. We can we can the electric field theory says that we can we can just improve the concept of Coulomb's. Coulomb's law that is there is a force of interaction, there is a force of attraction or repulsion between two electric fields, two electric fields. How? Look at this. This charge can produce an electric field around it. I am not going to discuss right now the direction or anything that we will discuss later. Now you just look at this. So this is the electric field produced by this one. What about this one? Suppose consider this is a small charge. So it will produce an electric field like this. Okay, only only this much. So there is an interaction between two electric fields here. There is an interaction between two electric fields here. That is how the force of attraction or repulsion is happening. Okay, so it is nothing but it is an interaction between two forces. And one more additional point I would like to tell you. Listen. What is a unit positive charge or a test charge? All of you listen. This is I I use uh, in the upcoming classes, upcoming lectures. I I use this word test charge. What is test charge? It's a unit positive charge. Okay, test charge means two words. I would like to introduce. Uh, Test charge means it's a very very small charge. It cannot produce its own electric field. It's a hypothetical concept only. It's not a real concept. It is very very small test charge, which means it cannot produce its own electric field. Okay, it's a hypothetical only. So that is what is test charge. Unit positive charge मतलब unit positive charge means it's a unit. positive charge that that is a, from the word itself it is very clear a unit value it's a positive charge so we will have unit positive test charge all the time 
to test the electric field, the direction of electric field. Okay, so that is what the first concept I would like to tell. So you, I think you have got electric field. What is electric field? And the mathematical formula of electric field and the remaining things and all that we will discuss. Okay, so all of you got the concept of electric field, right? Oh. Now, electric field we represent by the letter E. Electric field we represent by the letter E. And electric field is a vector also. Electric field is a vector quantity. Just like force, it's a vector. Okay. And electric field, I can define electric field as electrostatic force per unit charge ok or per charge that would be better and electrostatic force per charge that is what is electric field ok or I can, I can say that force per unit charge or I can say that it will be force per unit charge so I can add unit charge here as well unit charge here as well it's not, not a problem because when you when you do the problems you should not get confused that's what I, I thought ok so electric field is nothing but force per unit charge electrostatic force per unit charge this is what is electric field ok obviously this is just the definition only and another way of definition and one more thing I would like to tell you the same idea we have used in where? Gravitation. The same idea we will use in magnetism. It's a coming chapter. So look at this. In gravitation, I would like to explain it here. I would like to explain it here. In gravitation, we have studied F is equal to G M1 M2 by R square. And what is a uh, field? What is a field? Field is something but G. We have studied that, that is equal to F by M, which is equal to G M by R square. This is the magnet, uh, sorry, gravitational field that we have studied, G M by R square. That is acceleration due to gravity, both of them have same, same uh, equation. So the same idea we are using here as well, electric field is equal to, what is the force? Force we know that K into Q1, Q2 by R square, what is K? 1 by 1 by epsilon bound. So, okay, in many times you have to use K, K, K. So, you have to use all the time K. So, that's why it's like this. So, electric field I can write it as so divided by Q1 or Q, whatever it is. Q1 or Q2. So, this will be Q, K, Q divided by R square or which is equal to 1 by 4 by epsilon naught Q by R square. So this is what is the equation of electric field. So this is vector. So obviously there will be a vector sign here that the direction of electric field that I will discuss later. Okay. So first of all you have to know what is the equation of electric field. How, how we can represent electric field. So that is what we have seen here. So what is electric field? Electrostatic force per unit charge. Okay. And uh, this is what is electric field and just look at this what is the unit of electric field the unit of electric field the unit unit of electric field is nothing but force per charge newton per coulomb newton per coulomb that is what is unit and what about the dimensional formula of electric field dimensional formula of electric field force per charge no? And also one more unit is there for electric field. One more unit is there. So that I will discuss later. Okay. Or I can, I can say that we have the formula ED is equal to PD that I will teach you later. So from that I can write it as volt per meter. Another unit of electric field is volt per meter. You, you just look at the unit only. Volt means voltage, potential difference. That we will discuss later. So, Newton per kilo and volt per meter. Okay. And then, what is the dimensional formula of electric field? From here it is very clear Newton. Newton means force. M by T raised to minus 2. 
all of you, all of you, look at this. Newton per coulomb. And per coulomb is divided by AP. I told you in the last first class that what is the unit of charge? Charge, charge unit? AP. Uh, dimension is AP. Okay, sorry, not unit, dimension. Okay. So again, I can write it as M, L, T raised to minus 3, A raised to minus 1. This is what is the dimensional formula of electric field. Okay. And now, this is what is electric field and the properties of electric field and electric lines of force, the direction of electric field, we will discuss. So, now we are going to discuss about the direction of electric field. So before that let me let me conclude that E is equal to electric field is equal to F by Q force upon charge. So which is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q by R square into R cap. This is what is R cap. Okay. So that is the direction of electric field. So uh, like, I, I would like to give you only what is the direction of electric field with respect to positive and negative charges and the, in detail in the electric field lines, the concept of electric field lines we will discuss later okay we will discuss in a separate video that is electric field lines so now you just look at this electric field is equal to f by q and i can say that positive charge it has an electric field which is radially outward radially outward in this direction what about negative charge in the case of negative charge it is radially inwards it is coming towards the negative charge so that is the direction of electric field so, if there are two charges, one positive and one negative, you can say that from positive to negative, that you can say, but if there is only one charge, suppose there is only one positive charge, it will be radially outward. So, what about one negative charge? It will be radially inwards. Okay, that is the direction of electric field. And now I am going to uh, explain like a simple concept that is, suppose, all of you listen, I need your attention. So, look at this, suppose there is a charge Q. There is a charge Q and then in this charge, let's say uh, this will produce an electric field of E. Okay, so there is like it will produce an electric field of electric field. The strength is E, field strength. Okay, it's a physical quantity, right? So suppose I am going to place another charge, small Q, small Q here. So what is the force acting on this small Q due to this capital Q? That is my question. Again, I would like to repeat the question. There is a charge capital Q. And obviously, as we have said earlier, there will be a electric field around, there will be an electric field, there will be an electric field around this charge capital Q. And suppose we are going to place a charge of small Q here, then what will be the force acting on this charge? due to this electric field. That is equal to, we all know that force is equal to, or if it is a force is equal to 1 by 4 by epsilon 0 Q, here two charges Q and Q, Q, Q by R square. Right? Suppose the distance between them is R square. And let me ask you another question. Here, 1 by 4 by epsilon 0 Q by R square is what? Electric field. So it will be E into Q. That is F. So what is my point? Same here only. F is equal to QE. So I, I always say I always say that F is equal to QE. F is equal to QE. This is very important. So this formula you can use in many many places and in magnetism also you will you will find that. Okay. So when we place a charge inside an electric field. Then the force acting on that charge is equal to F is equal to QE. F is equal to QE. Okay. So this is what is F is equal to QE. And also, one more thing we will say that this, this, uh, that is not uh, our syllabus. Like, I mean, we will discuss that later in other chapters. But anyways, I would like to tell you, this is, we also call it as Electric Lorentz force. We also call it as electric Lorentz force. So I will, I will ask you the same question when we discuss magnetism. What is magnetic Lorentz force? How do we connect magnetic Lorentz force and electric 
Lorentz force. So this is what is electric Lorentz force. Okay. When we place a charge inside an electric field, then the force acting on that charge will be equal to F is equal to Q E Q into E. Okay. This is what the electric field thinks. And now, now I would like to uh, tell you another thing. What is uniform and non-uniform electric field? Uniform and non-uniform electric field. Okay, no, no uniform and non-uniform electric field, which is look at this. Uniform electric field means then the field strength will be uniform. Field length strength will be uniform. Look at this. Here the gap between suppose these are the this this is a representation of electric field that we will discuss later. So then here the gap between them is equal to equal. The gap between them all are equal. So then we consider it as uniform electric field. Suppose an electric field is moving like this. Okay. So it, it can be like this also. But this is not uniform. This is non-uniform. So if the field strength at every point they are equal, then we can call it as uniform. Otherwise we call it as non-uniform electric field. Non-uniform electric field. Okay, now we are going to solve a question. All of you take page number 13 and question number 1.6, example number 1.6. We will solve the electric field question and then we will we'll move to the next discussion. Okay. So now we are going to solve the questions on electric field. So as we have seen, like electric field equation is very simple e is equal to 1, 1 upon 4 pi epsilon 0 q1 q1 by r square or q by r square it's very easy but here what is the importance here then we have to find out the directions as well so to get the direction also I, I would like to teach you how to get the direction or how to find out how to figure out the direction so look at this first question we are going to solve this one so I will explain the question first of all so there is a positive charge you have seen on your textbook that there is a positive charge that, uh, at the center, at the origin and there is a point P which is 2 meter away from origin and there is another point Q which is 4 meter away from origin that is which on Y axis, other one is on X axis. So you have to find out the electric field at this point and this point with the directions. And what about here? Here also you have to find out the electric field at point P and at point Q with the directions. Here the values are given. This is minus 2 micro coulomb. Here it is plus 1 micro coulomb. Okay. So pause the video and solve it yourself and then come back. So I think you had a chance to get work out this problems and uh, then we will do the problems one by one. Look at this. And you know that magnitude, finding magnitude is not a big deal. Finding, mag finding magnitude is Everybody can do that because the equation is very simple. E is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught Q by R square R cap in the direction. Okay. And let me ask you one question. How much is 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0? So I am going to find out electric field at this point P. EP. Okay. Which is equal to 9 into 10 to the power 9 into. What is Q? Q is 1 micro coulomb. 1 into 10 to the power minus 6 divided by r square. How much is r square? 2 square, 4, which is equal to 10 to the power minus 9, 10 to the power minus 6, 10 to the power 3. 9 by 4, 2.25 into 10 to the power 3. What is the unit? What is the unit of electric field? Newton per coulomb. So Newton per coulomb. But the problem is in which direction? The direction matters. So look at this. This is a positive charge. So what about the direction here? It will be radially outward. I have told you positive charge means radially outward. So it will be in this direction. What is this direction? This is positive x direction. What is positive x direction? Which is I cap. Which is into I cap Newton per Coulomb. So this is the direction. You got it. This is positive I cap. Okay. Next one. EQ. 
let's solve eq all of you try to do now you got the idea right i think so again 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 9 into 10 to the power 9 into into what is q q value is 1 micro coulomb that is 1 into 10 to the power minus 6 divided by r square how much is r square ah 4 square 16 which is equal to again 10 to the power minus 3 9 by 16 into 10 to the power 3 10 to the power 3 newton per coulomb and which is 4.56 so you do, do the numerical part I am not going to do that so 4.56 into 10 to the power 3 again let me ask you another question what will be the direction look at the direction so here it is positive charge means radially outwards so this is positive y direction what is positive y direction into j cap Newton per coulomb. You got it? I cap, J cap, minus J cap, minus I cap. So the direction is very simple. Okay, this is what is the direction and magnitude. Okay, and now you look at this question. Okay, when we solve when we solve this question as well, like you will get you will get more uh, like you will get more idea about this. Okay, so don't worry about that. So look at this question. So here minus 2 micro coulomb, minus 2 micro coulomb at the point P. Okay, so I would like to write EP is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0, 9 into 10 to the power 9. Q by R square Q, how much? Minus 2 micro coulomb divided by minus 2 micro coulomb divided by R square. How much is R square? 2 square, that is 4. Which is equal to, which is equal to, uh, you can solve this problem, you can solve this problem, 2, 4 got cancelled, 2 will come, it will be 4.5 into 10 to the power 3, because micro and 10 to the power 9, it will be 10 to the power 3, okay, so the answer will be 4.5 into, 4.5 into 10 to the power, 4.5 into 10 to the power 3, Newton per coulomb. Okay. 4.5 to 10 to the power 3 Newton per coulomb. And my question is, here it is negative. So, all, you all know that this is a negative charge, right? So, that radially in this direction. The direction will be radially inwards. So, it will be negative. So, which means what? Minus 4.5 into 10 to the power 3 into I cap. Minus I cap. Here it will be minus I cap. Into Newton per coulomb. Okay, so this will be the direction. I think you got it. Okay, so because of the negative charge, it will be in the in this direction, radially inwards. Next one, this one, and next one, EQ. EQ will be equal to all of you listen. Look at this here in this direction. So it will be 9 into 10 to the power 9 into 1 mic 2 micro coulomb. So 2 into 10 to the power minus 6 divided by 6 square 36. So you can solve a uh, numerical value, you can solve it yourself. So the numerical value will be uh, 0.56 again. 0.56 into 10 to the power 3. Ah, then then what about the direction? So it is radially inwards, right? In this direction. What is this direction? It is positive x direction. Look at this. Even though it is on negative axis, the direction is towards a positive x axis. So it will be I cap Newton per coulomb. This will be the value. Okay. I think you have got it. So direction matters. You have to check the direction. So here I have, don't, don't confuse. Here I have put my negative, negative sign. No, no problem at all. So then it will be negative in this direction. So you, you can avoid this one. You can avoid this one. Then also the final answer will be like this. Okay. So final answer will be like this. This one. Uh, the final answer. Sorry. This will be negative. I, I, I have. So I have put the negative sign here. So no problem at all. So it will be negative i direction. Here it will be positive i direction because it is in this direction. Okay. 